Scarfish Count Gaming here, and today we're going to pick up where we left off from last video and hopefully have another repeat of a 3 0 win streak. We're going to jump right into the single battles with the same team we were using from last time. We are currently Master Ball tier in doubles and rank 8 Great Ball tier in singles with a record of 16 and 4. We have not lost with the team we're using. And since I said that, I have probably jinxed us, and maybe we'll lose the next three. Let's go ahead and grab team five again. Lucky number five. We're going to search for a trainer. And we got one already. All right. Rank eight against Alex. If we win here, we're probably into rank nine. And we see a Grim Snarl. The Toxapex, a Dracupult, a Milotic, Eviolite, Corsola, and everybody's favorite Excadrill. Alright, how do we handle this? Darmanitan is not going to be great because he can. I think we lead Pre-Marina, keep Durant in the background. I don't think we bring Haxorus this round. I think we bring... I think we go one, two, three. Let's see it. Show me the money. This is a tough team. I was not expecting this. I'm hoping to see the Grim Snarl lead so I can use my Throat Spray. Um, if he leads Extra Drill, we'll still probably use Hyper Voice because I don't think he KOs me with an Iron Head, maybe a Max Steel Spike. I guess it's neutral, so I don't know. And we have the Aqua Jet that we could finish him off with. Which would be ideal, but then we're probably not surviving anything. So there's the Grim Snarl, so this will be perfect. I wanted to get hyper voice off and activate the throat spray I assume a light screen's coming or a thunder wave one of the two I would imagine trick are we getting legging tail choice scarf iron ball not a bad play not a bad play I have to see what iron ball does I assume it makes does something with our weight or speed lower speed and allows ground type moves to hit flying types okay interesting so that makes me think X drills coming maybe that's his strategy here uh, here comes extra drill. I should have gone for the Sparking Aura again. Oh, Corsola, okay. Alright, Moonblast is disabled. That's fine, we'll hit a Hyper Voice here. I imagine a Strength Sap is coming, probably. There it is. We're very slow now, by the way. Our attack falls. Um, at least this got off first. So I have a pretty good way to deal with Strength Sap, and I should have gone into it previously. I doubt he hits another Strength Sap, but if he does, it will be good for us. Calm Mind, not good for us. So, how are we gonna beat him? Well, with our highest stab move, of course. Um, if they switch to Grim Snarl, I'm gonna be impressed. I'll be uh, definitely outplayed. Um, hopefully the fairy typing 
So it doesn't understand how magic bounce works. That's great. So you're gonna lower your own. That is just great. I bet this guy's not feeling the smartest. We're gonna go for a dazzling gleam now, expecting the uh, switch back into Grimmsnarl. Especially after we just revealed Psychic. So we're actually gonna hit the Hex, and that actually does a lot of damage. Mainly because it's super effective. Alright. So we'll activate our leftovers here. I don't know if I want to stay in for that again. So we might go into Durant, but I also don't, I don't think Hatterene can survive a, we got Primarina, let's, let's keep, let's keep ourselves in the game here, and just hit another Dazzling Gleam, yeah we have to. So unless this thing has Recover, which I doubt, we're just going to hit with another Hex. We should survive. We do, which is perfect. Dazzling Gleam will take out the Crisola. That's good. That part's not. Shouldn't matter because whatever's coming in is going to gonna move before us. So we definitely had a good play with the uh, switch in on the strength set. I guess we didn't switch in on it, but do we know his entire team? We don't. We don't know what the last one is. So obviously here we're gonna. We would love to. Oh, we can't go for Dazzling Gleam. Okay. We can go for Giga Drain though. And at least get some health back. But he does not want that to happen. I... So he could go for Trick and get rid of our Life Orb. That would kind of suck. So I'm thinking maybe we don't Dynamax yet. Gotta hope Iron Head hits. But I don't think we want to Dynamax until we know what the last Mana is. There comes the trick to get rid of our life orb. We kind of saw that was coming. Which is why we didn't Dynamax. Hopefully we hit. We do. This should KO. No screens up. I feel as if we're sitting pretty, pretty good. Some other people may not. That's fine. All we have to do is break Sash. And we should win. We should outspeed. So we're going to go for Crunch. Crunch is our Excadrill Sash Breaking Counter. I would expect to see a Dynamax. And we just got to hope that a... that we hit and break the Sash. That is what we need. We almost should Dynamax. I'm just halfway thinking about it. I don't think this kills. I am kind of surprised that he outspeeds. That's fine. We do a good chunk. Dynamax wouldn't have KO'd, but it would have left Aqua Jet enough room to KO. So he is locked into Earthquake. He's definitely scarfed because he does not normally outspeed. Now with base 88 speed, um, doesn't matter because Primarina is holding this heavy steel ball. But obviously we're going to Dynamax. And hopefully we don't, hopefully this doesn't backfire. So what? 
Dynamaxing is going to allow him to do is get out of the uh, Max or the uh, Choice Scarf. Pick one of his four moves. Um, we're going to Dynamax and get bulky, so it shouldn't matter. And our Max Strike should be Water type. Unless I made an awful play here and it doesn't affect Dynamax moves, that would be awful. I guess I never tested that or learned that. But this should be a rank up win for us unless there's a trick up this Excadrill Sleeve with the Max Thunder or something. Nope, so here comes the Max Quake, Choice Scarf, Max Quake. And it doesn't do half, so I'm feeling pretty good about things. He does get the special defense boost. We get a max strike off, which should be... So, so it doesn't work. Alright, noted. It doesn't work for Dynamax moves. That's a problem. Well, now we know. So as long as we don't get critted here, we should win. We don't get critted. Another thing we can do here is max guard next turn and then aqua jet. That would be the best route to go. This is physical, we don't have a lot of attack. I could see this not killing. It does though. Good to go. So we do misplay, but end up uh, winning in the end. Well, maybe we got lucky on the critical hit. Would have mattered, I could have max guarded and then aqua jetted, and I think that would have ended it as well. Um, we did play around the Corsola pretty well. Um, not as good as we could have. We should have swapped in immediately. But life goes on. And we got a trainer. Rank 9. Will this battle put us into rank 10? So, Durant hurts. Coach Kiss. And Grim Snarl. Hatterene. I heard Strakeypult does okay against Grimmsnarl, and hopefully one-shots Gastron, so I think we bring Hatterene. I'm not sure how I feel about Haxorus, but I'm not in love with Haxorus. I think we gotta bring Darmanitan, but I don't know if I wanna lead him. Or we bring Primarina. Yeah, let's do this. Let's reverse 3, 2, 1. This guy's not sure what to bring either. These are two interesting team lineups here. I feel like my team's moderately try hard, but I wouldn't I wouldn't say it is insanely try hard. Alright, so at the last second he gets a team set. Hopefully he leads with Gastron and we can just Giga Drain right off the right off the bat. The Giga Drain on the Hatterene was a recommendation. Well, so we have a pretty decent matchup here. So pretty much whatever he wants to switch into, he's just going to set up the screens. So we're going to have to work through those. We don't have any way of dealing with those. Hopefully that. Is it going to cost us the game? It does do a good chunk, but that's going to keep him around for three turns, so that's a problem. And that is a bulky Grim Snarl. So here comes the withdraw. I'm assuming Excadrill's coming in. Snorlax, okay. It's Belly Drum time, I'm guessing. So as long as there's not a Trick Room, I'm not too scared of Belly Drum. Curse, actually. 
This could be a problem. So we are definitely getting set up on. At this point, just trying to get the special defense drops. We're probably going to initiate the Figgy Berry here. Here comes an Iron Head. That is going to... That is going to hurt. So, how do we want to play this? I think we just Psychic again. We know we're moving first. Psychic's gonna hurt. He's gonna hit his Figgy Berry. Maybe we get a critical hit. Um, he could read this and switch back into Grimmsnarl. That would be bad. We probably should have went for the Dazzling Gleam. I'm not sure if Body Slam was to play, but maybe it is if it KOs. So, Iron Head, Body Slam. we reveal... Oh, we need to reveal the Durant. And we probably just need to go for a stab Iron Head. I don't think it's worth Dynamaxing yet. So I didn't expect to KO. As long as this thing doesn't have Fire Punch, we should be okay. Figgy Berry. Well, there is what we feared. We should have Dynamaxed. We're probably going to lose here. So, big part is telling me to not yet. How many turns of... Okay, so the light screen is gone. Right? Did I, did I not look right? Light screen's two for eight. I still think we need to hit Hyper Voice. Activate our Throat Spray. We at least got that going for us. Oh, this is gonna hurt. It's gonna do half. Now we need to Dynamax. We can max Starfall to set the terrain. But if he has a Drake Pult, we're pretty much toast. So here we get outplayed by the Grim Snarl. We don't really have a good counter on our team. We should have Dynamaxed the Durant. Um, but a Drake Pult will would outspeed, so I don't know if it's, if it's worth it. Alright, so Light Screen's gone. I imagine you come back in with your... Grimmsnarl. Either way, it's not looking favorable for us. There's the Grimmsnarl. I don't think he can KO us, so this should... This should do, do a good chunk. Again, the light screen's definitely coming, why wouldn't you? We did get a throat spray off, and we do have the train up, so there's a chance we KO. There's that. Now, if it's Drake pull, it is Gastrodon. Not what we were expecting. I pretty much have to max Starfall. 
the light screen is probably going to save him. Hattering was the right pick, but not at the right time. If we would have led with Primarina, if we would have went 1-2-3 instead of 3-2-1, this is probably a different battle, but because of last time we led with Primarina against Grimmsnarl, we got tripped into that lagging tail. And so that, that was kind of the thought process there. I'm not saying it's over, because I don't know, I mean, he probably hits me with an Earth Power, let's see what this does. Wow, pretty much nothing. And he's got Max Ooze, so that's match. Although that really didn't do much either. For being super effective. But it is going to raise a special attack, so we're not surviving after this turn. Um, he's definitely got Storm Drain. And we'll go for the Moon Blast, but it is not going to be pretty. Interesting if we would have had Energy Ball instead of Protect. We thought about it before going on the stream. It was it was thought about. Alright, we've got an Eviolite, the Blade, got the Braviary, there is a Shell Smashing Blastoise it looks like, Greenucleus, they've got Weavile, Gudra, there's just all sorts of stuff going on here. I think our best bet is to lead with Rotom in case of the Shell Smashing Blastoise. Although water would hurt pretty bad, we should be able to get out of that. Um, I don't love Durant in this situation, but I don't hate it. Fairy isn't doing a whole lot. Prima Arena doesn't seem like an awful solution but it doesn't seem like the best solution. I think we go Rotom, Durant, Axe. Axe should be able to eat up Blastoises, anything. I think even if we see the Weavile, we Volt Switch because he's potentially switches into Blastoise. And let's just make sure there's no ground on the other team. I don't think there was. Maybe we can double check, just to be safe. They have no ground, so nothing really wants to take this. So there's the switch. Is it into Blastoise? It's into Gudra, which is just as good. But we're going to do that. We're going to come back. So he would have a Steel type that would be able to He's got the Eviolite. I think this is too obvious of a play. Regardless, I think we go into Haxorus. It's whether or not nothing resists it except for Deblade. We should be faster unless it's Scarfed. Nothing really wants to take this. I don't think he brings it to play with this with this team. But we will find out. I'm imagining that being a salt best good draw. Just gonna go for the Dynamax. I'd like to imagine we outspeed. The only way we don't is if it's choice scarf on dang. Right? Alright, Hacks 
Master Chief is out of rage. We don't. Oh, man. How do we not get that? What is that? Wow, that is just too bad. Now we gotta go look at some stats. Not. Where is Gudra? Generation of Gudra. 80 speed, so max. Max speed you can have is 145. So we're fine to go back into Rotom and hit the Volt switch, even though it's not very effective. That should allow us to keep Rotom. While also KOing their Dynamax Mon. I can't believe it survived that outrage. That is just too bad. The Volt Switch should KO, which it does. Things are looking up a little bit. Better than they were. Alright, Rodom comes back. In comes Durant. And we'll see what they want to bring. I would imagine if it's a Weavile, it doesn't really... Well, Fire... I don't know if Weaviles carry Fire Punch. I feel like it would have been a pretty... Pretty easy decision, had that been the case. We do have x Scissor, we do have Iron Head. We do have Max... Max Rockfall will break the Sash, if there is one. I don't have any concerns with that not KOing. I do have concerns with uh, Fire Punch, but I feel like that would be rare. We won't outspeed if it's Jolly. If it's Jolly Nature, we won't outspeed. We're Jolly Nature, I think we're hitting 177 speed. I think Jolly Nature Weavile hits 194. So it's not Jolly, it must be Adamant. So there's the sash. We knew it had the sash. So this was a good play because the sandstorm will take it out. We're gonna lose some HP due to the life orb. So counter is not what I was expecting at all. But the sandstorm will will let us survive. And into Rotom Heat we go. Against his blade. So, the biggest problem here is no longer a problem. So we can lock, we could lock ourselves in the overheat, but that will reduce our special attack. So the best, the best play here is to lock ourselves in the Dark Pulse, I think. I could run Calx, but I don't really want to. So we probably would have KO'd. Um, at this point, it doesn't matter. I don't think a uh, Shadow Sneak KOs. But he's going to go for it. Fingers crossed it doesn't. So we could have KO'd with the overheat, good to know in the future, but we still walk away with the W. So after a couple losses that we had, we do bounce back and get a few wins, um, kind of putting us back to where we were. I'll probably end up cutting a couple of those losses out just because of how long the battles were. If we would, would have had uh, max overgrowth on not Max Overgrowth Energy Ball on our Prey Marina. We may have won one of those that we lost. Um, I'm not sure if Gastrodon, with a light screen up, survives a non-stab Max Overgrowth, but it is times four, so who knows. All right, let's see what we ended with. Let's update our rank there. We should be about halfway 
into tier nine was our second win in a row. So maybe it'll take us a little over half. We'll have to see. So it does take us a little bit over half. So if we win one more, we should be in 10. We're 20 and seven, not bad. Like I said, I'd like to have one, a couple of those battles back, but I'll have to cut those out due to time constraints. Um, as always, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Leave your rental team down. If you've got a team that you think can do a little bit better than the one we've been using, I would love to try it out and use it on the ladder here. We're getting closer to that Master Ball tier. Still Master Ball tier in doubles. We'll get there in singles and reap the rewards for Season 6. Other than that, thanks for watching. And like we said before,